good old half there. Love it. <laughs> well, hey there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. So, starting off this video a little different. Um, <laughs> I done the video of explaining everything, taste test, stuff like that, and uh, went to go ahead and finish it up, editing it tonight and stuff, and I don't know if I had deleted that clip and cleaning out my phone and stuff or what. <laughs> I sure can't find it. And I hadn't backed it up or anything yet. So it's sayonara, bye-bye. But this is uh, the intro to the good old pastrami video. So uh, I guess I'll talk through it and then jump on in to like the old style of how I talk through and stuff. But <laughs> so I got my good old corned beef and uh, washed it off good and let it soak and sit for 24 hours and change the water out I think twice throughout the process so you can kind of get off that saltiness of it because if you leave it like it is it's going to be like boom blow your head off too salty so let that soak and do all for a good 24 hours and then I started the process on up of getting it cooked and seasoned on up so I'll jump on into those clips and do like a little voiceover like I used to for them but sorry for the <laughs> no taste test and talking about it but spoiler alert was delicious and there's no more of it left in the household. So <laughs> it got gone pretty fast. So, and I whipped up a little Russian dressing with it. Uh, kind of my style of a Russian dressing. It's probably not the traditional, but I'll have the ingredients and stuff in the description for y'all. So anyways, we'll jump on into the, what I did and force over for it. And, and uh, I don't know, I might do an outro, might not, but if, if I don't, Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to. If you haven't already, and when you do, hey, welcome on in to the Head to Tail family. We love you and welcome you on in. So thank y'all again, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Well, alrighty, folks. Here's what we're going to be working with. That's just a little packaged corned beef pack that you get. So took it out, kind of washed it off, and then I just see here, poured it up with some water in a bowl and just let it sit and like i said right there at the intro i changed the water twice throughout the 24 hour period so only can get that kind of saltiness in it leached out so right here i popped it out of the fridge if it sat 24 hours and now i'm just gonna pour off that excess water and then once i've got it off good i'm gonna sit it on some paper towels on my cutting board and then just pat it down good and dry all over to kind of get any more of that salt that's on it off and then kind of dry it off for the binder that I'm going to start using. And this one I actually do use a binder. Most of the time I don't because there's not really a need for it because if you'll give your seasoning time when you're putting it on kind of to sweat on in, it'll adhere well enough that you don't really need a binder. But with making pastrami, it kind of, it and mustard are good friends, so I grabbed up some yellow mustard there, kind of to be my binder for the day, so just put a little bit on each side and just rubbed it in, massaged it in, <laughs> all over good, and then just a, a little bit more on this side to get it ready for that season that I'm going to be using as you'll see there maybe you can see good um using some good old Uncle Steve shake this is the competition cow powder I tasted it and it's got some really good heavy pepper notes and you know if you've had pastrami before it and pepper are good friends too so I applied a good heavy coat all over it now all over the sides good so it can get that good 
foundation of pepper around it so it can smoke and get that good peppery note that you like with pastrami so I went pretty heavy with it because I like that kind of stronger pepper flavor with the pastrami so good coat all over then just let it sit like I said pat it in so it can kind of get good and adhered on it and that mustard can become good friends so after I let it sit for about five ten minutes and I had my smoker go and went ahead and put it on I ran the smoker about 275 to 300 so like I said this is my Russian dressing my style for it so as you see there start off with some good old Duke's mayonnaise and I put in about three-fourths of a cup in there to get my kind of good creamy base to go in. And then after that, I got my ketchup. And like I said, it's three-fourths of a cup of the mayonnaise. And check the description, too. I'll have the full recipe there. You can check it out. So about two tablespoons of the ketchup went in. And then I had some prepared uh, horseradish tablespoon of it goes in there and then after that it's a tablespoon of minced garlic you can mince on your own if you want to or if you got the already prepared up it's fine as well if you want kind of a more fresher stronger garlic flavor you can go with a fresh mince one but the prepared mince works went really well too so and then i went in with about a tablespoon of some pickle juice and then i took out one of the pickles and then just minced it up really good kind of a good fine dice on it and then put it in there as well and it came out to about a tablespoon of the mince dill pickle and after I'd get it in there and go ahead and work on down the line as you can see there the uh, my favorite word <laughs> Worcestershire or Worcestershire sauce is a tablespoon of it as well and that lid was stubborn y'all I couldn't hardly get it off <laughs> so tablespoon of it and then a tablespoon of lemon juice. And then it's a tablespoon of your favorite hot sauce. So it's fairly straight across the board. You got their three-fourths cup, two tablespoons, and then the rest throughout is just a tablespoon. And then with the salt and pepper for it, you can just do it to taste of however you like. And if you don't want it a little bit more peppery add in a little bit more pepper and if you want more salt add more salt or if you don't want salt at all you can hold off on the salt but it ended up pretty good so right here came back to check on the good old pastrami it was looking really good this is about an hour in and this was right here where i'm taking it up is like three hours in so i went ahead and took it up it's looking good had good smoke in it so then i Threw it in my little dish, threw some butter on top of it to get more flavor, and then hay fat as well for flavor. So then I put it in the oven at 300, let it finish off, and get to where it's good and probe tender. And uh, then I let it rest for a while, and then made up my sandwich and chowed down. And it was delicious. I made a Reuben with it, with the pastrami and my Russian dressing, some Swiss cheese, and some uh, sauerkraut as well and it was delicious i wish i could have had the taste test for y'all but somehow it got deleted so i'm sorry <laughs> but anyways thank y'all so much for watching again y'all like share subscribe if you want to if you haven't already and i'll catch y'all on my next one